Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how to do SEO reach research uh, using a program called Terapeak for eBay. So um, I don't know. I think uh, my screen's cutting off the top bar here. Uh, but if you look above, actually, let me see if I can drag this up. Okay. So if you look above, there's a tab called SEO. We're going to click this tab called SEO, and basically we're going to type in a title. So uh, let's say, for example, that we're going to be selling uh, a digital meat thermometer. So we'll type in digital meat thermometer. Thermometer. And we just hit enter. And basically it's going to give us all types of keywords that we're going to use and are going to want to use in our listings. And also we're going to see some examples of some digital meat thermometers out there being sold. Uh, but what's most important are these keywords up here. So we have barbecue, uh, cooking, food, kitchen, probe, oven, grill, instant, read, wireless, remote, smoker, for, timer, new, LCD, selectable, and whip. Now, obviously we don't wanna use terms that are not relevant. So if our meat thermometer is not a digital meat thermometer, we wouldn't wanna use the term LCD. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out, which is kind of cool, I kind of like how they give us sort of a contextual clue uh, next to the word, because you know not always do you know what the context is to each one of these words. For example, I was running a report on a digital water, or I'm sorry, digital, on a watermelon slicer the other day, and they had the word slicey. Now, I didn't know what slicey meant. Slicey is actually a brand of watermelon cutter, but because it said brand next to it, I knew what that meant. So barbecue, you know, it's not always 100% accurate. Barbecue is more a purpose, more so than a model. Uh, cooking, it's a type of device it is. Uh, it's for food. Uh, kitchen is a product group that it's in. Uh, oven, it's meant for oven use, although you could also use it for barbecuing. Um, the display type is LCD. That means it's going to read digital like that as opposed to seeing like a thermometer dial. But my goal here, like why is this data useful to us? You're probably wondering. Well, ultimately my goal here is to try to insert as many of these keywords as possible into my listing. Why? Because that's going to uh, get me ranked higher in eBay searches. That's what people on eBay are searching for. So if I were selling a digital meat thermometer, like say for example this one right here, my title would probably be something like uh, digital meat thermometer for barbecue cooking. Um, take food temperature, kitchen, you know what I mean? I would try to insert as many of these words as possible uh, into the listing. Now, Terapeak is a program that I'm using to pull this data. Uh, if you guys are serious eBay sellers, this is definitely a program that you need to get. Um, you're going to be able to rank your listings higher. You're going to be able to outsell your competition. You're going to be able to find more profitable items to sell. There's so much you can do with this program here. Uh, if anybody's interested, if you want, you can get a free seven-day trial to Terapeak. I'll link to it in the description box below. Uh, and you just click the link, you'll get a free seven-day trial. Uh, if you just want to try it out and get some free research for a week, you know, by all means, go right ahead and do so. If you find some value in it and you want to keep it and you want to continue using it, by all means, do that as well. And I'm going to show you one other quick tool here. I'm not going to dig too deep here. Uh, but if we go over to product research here, and if we type in digital meat thermometer, it's great having the keywords, but what's really helpful is knowing which one of these keywords are the most searched or which one leads people to buy these items the most. Uh, so if we go to uh, product research, we search our term, and then we scroll down here. This is really valuable info because as you can see here, this is pretty much all the same keywords that we saw back in the SEO category, but here we're able to see them ranked in terms of importance. So most people who are searching for barbecue meat, therm or I'm sorry, for meat thermometers are searching for them for outdoor barbecuing. You know, it's a lot easier to, personally speaking, as somebody who cooks, it's a lot easier to cook at consistent temperatures in the oven. I mean, you set it for 400 degrees and it's cooking at 400 degrees. You cook it for 20 minutes, you know it's done. Obviously on a barbecue grill, it's a lot harder to regulate the temperature. You don't always know exactly when things are done. Uh, so for that reason, these digital meat thermometers do really well for the uh, grilling crowd. Uh, so obviously barbecue is gonna be one of the most popular terms. Uh, so is cooking, food, probe, kitchen, instant as an instant read, uh, oven, grill, and new. So my goal when crafting an eBay listing would be to try to, it's not always possible, obviously you wanna keep it somewhat readable, but uh, you're gonna to try to insert the top most searched keywords uh, as early on in the title as possible. So rather than making my listing barbecue or meat thermometer, I would probably make my uh, listing barbecue cooking meat thermometer 
take food, you know, probe takes food temperature. And basically what my goal is, is to try to insert, you know, maybe the three or five um, most popular terms here as early on as possible uh, into the title. The earlier into the title these words display, uh, the more keyword relevance they have for eBay SEO and searches and things like that. Now, there's a ton of other great uh, data and info we can uh, pull using this TerraPeak program, uh, but today I wanted to keep it kind of short and sweet. So uh, today I just wanted to show you guys how we do um, eBay research, <coughs> excuse me, keyword research. And the goal of this is to get our items ranked uh, on the first page of eBay searches. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you guys have any questions about how to use this program, anything else, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Uh, and if anybody's interested in using this program, I will include a link below to where you can get a free seven-day trial to check it out. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.